everyone, it's Amy here from Wolverhampton Music Service. Um, I hope you're all keeping really safe and well. Um, so today I just thought I'd help you through a little vocal tutorial. Now it's really important that before we sing, we warm up our voices correctly. So this is this means starting really gently and soft, working our lower register. And then as our voices gradually warm up throughout the warm up, we get to the bigger and the higher stuff. So it's really important, okay? Um, we're going to work for a few exercises. Um, some of these exercises, I um, know very well from when I was in Les Mis and Wicked. Um, it's really, really important that we warm up our voices, especially in, in a professional industry when we have to get through eight shows a week. We really need to make sure we are looking after our voices very carefully. I'm going to talk you through some exercises. Make sure you have a glass of water by you, um, just in case if your voice gets a little bit dry, we can, we can have a sip of water and then we're ready to go. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new today. And so the first thing we need to do before we start our vocal warm up is to make sure we are stood correctly. So the best way to stand when we are singing is to have your feet shoulder width apart. So when you look down at your feet, you should have a little gap between both feet, nice and relaxed. Don't lean forward slightly so you're on your toes and don't rock back so you're on your heels. The weight should be distributed, balanced nicely between both feet. So next thing is to make sure our knees are nice and relaxed. When we're singing, the worst thing we can do is to feel like we're locking our knees because that makes our whole body really stiff and that's not what we need to sing. So knees nice and relaxed, not bend so you've really bent them we've lost a bit of height, but just nice and relaxed so you can, you can bounce up and down gently. Hands, arms need to be relaxed loosely by the side. And the last thing is to make sure that our tummy is not tense. We don't want to tense our tummy because that's not very good for our breathing. So is a really good way of relaxing that tummy. Let it all hang out. So now our posture is correct, we're ready to sing. So exercise one, we're going to start with a really gentle hum, hum. So if you'd like to follow me and I'll take you through it. So that was our first exercise. Now it's really important to remember between each hum, we don't have a big breath, <gasps> big and take a breath like that. That means we're not breathing correctly. We should feel that we're breathing from our diaphragm. Now, <sighs> remember that exercise we did when we were trying to work on our posture? That's really important. We should feel like we are breathing from our lower tummy. When you're in take a breath, imagine you've got a hula hoop around you. Now the hula hoop, when we breathe, we should feel like our ribs are expanding outwards. So we feel like we're touching the sides of the hula hoop. Okay, so instead of breathing like this, which is sometimes how we breathe for sport, if we've been on a long run, we'll feel like we, we need to, to in, in, inflate our lungs that way. For singing, it's the opposite. You need to feel like you've got this imaginary hula hoop around you. Can you see my ribs? They expand outwards, yes? Imagine that hula hoop. Let's do that exercise one more time and in between, in between each hmm, we're going to expand outwards, yes? One more time.
brilliant. Right, exercise two. We're going to sing up the scale to our vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, O. Every time we hold a sustained note in a song, it's on a vowel sound. So it's really important that we warm up using our vowels. So we're going to work up the scale, follow me to the vowel sounds. Now, a trick for helping you do this is to use your finger. The, the, the warm up is quite long, the, the phrases we're going to sing quite long. So if you use your finger to push as we're singing, it really helps you to sustain your breath and not lose breath before we get to the end of the phrase. OK, so have a go. Exercise three. So we're now going to work on our range. The best way I believe you can work on your range and really warm up from the very low notes to the high, highest notes you can possibly do is with what we call a siren. So this is what a siren sounds like and then I'll tell you how we can make the sound. Sounds like a police engine or a fire engine. Yeah? So, if you imagine when you say the word sing, sing, the NG at the end of the word sing is the sound that we need to create. So, to practice this before you start your siren, you can say the word sing and then we can start. So, another one with your finger. If you use your voice to follow, where your finger is going, you can start off really small. We work the middle register. And then if we get a little bit higher and lower and a little bit higher and lower, almost follow a figure of eight. Yes. So let's give that a go. Ready? Start with the word sing if we're not ready to go straight for the ng sound. So. Sing. Once we've worked that middle register, we can start a bit higher and we can go to the high register. So, again, use the word sing. Sing. It's a really, really good warm up. It's also a very good warm up if you haven't got very much time before you need to sing a song or before if you have choir practice, anything like that. It's a really good one you can do in the car, on the way, on the bus. You can actually do it very quietly and you'd be surprised. A, a few of my auditions and I'm, what, I've am done a vocal warm up at my house maybe before and then I needed to get the tube to an audition. I would often keep my siren going on the tube very quietly. And no one would hear me. It's a really good one. So let's do one more and then we'll move on to the next exercise. Sing. Really nice, well done. So now we're moving on to exercise four. This is a tricky one. So we're going to work up the scale and then we're going to work 
down the scale in the same phrase, okay? We're going to do it to the vowel R. Now we've done our siren in the previous exercise, exercise three, we've worked our lower range, our middle range, and our high range. So now this is incorporating using all of our range, but to a vowel sound. So copy me for the first one and the second one, and then join in on the third if you feel ready, okay? Exercise five. So now we've worked up the scale using the vowel sound. We're going to work up the scale using some words. So the phrase is, and it's very famous this warm up. I think every show that I've been in, or every Am Jam show, every warm up that I've been part of um, in my history of singing, we've probably touched on this warm up. So some of you might know it already. It's Bella Signora. So we're working up the scale as we did before, um, but to the words, Bella Signora. So as we have with the previous exercises, listen to me, then when you feel ready, join in. Bella Signora, Bella Signora, Bella Signora. your siren the more over time your range will feel like it's increasing so gradually you'll be able to attempt some of the higher notes in these exercises okay so now we're on to our last exercise so this one's a little bit of a tongue twister consonants are really important here so i'll teach it you bit by bit and then we'll speed it up and then we'll put it to the track okay so the first section goes Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Okay, one more time. 
Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. The next section goes. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. One more time. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Putting those two bits together. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Then this section is the fun, the fun bit, okay? It's hard. I hope I get it right. Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Okay? Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Okay? So the next bit that we add on to the end of that section is... Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Okay? So putting that together from the top... Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Okay. So the next bit goes, then we've nearly finished. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. One more time. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Then we repeat the first bit. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Okay, so that is the song. One time without the music and then we'll put it to the music. Ready? Posture correct. Big breath. We need it in this one. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. It's hard. So let's attempt it to the track. It's going to get rather fast. Now, I can't actually say myself whether I'll be able to keep up with it, but we'll give it a good go, okay? Remember to breathe. Breathe wherever you like, it doesn't matter. Papa, Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping, like a ping, 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 pong, 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 pong. I've got it. Like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong, like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping, like a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball. Papa's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like ping pong ball. Not again. So. That was the last exercise. Now that was a little bit tricky as even I found out. Um, but if you keep practicing, muscle memory will remember where to go and um, we'll get better and better at that. So that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed um, our vocal warm up. Um, those little exercises, although there may be few, they're actually really important because they take you through your whole voice and your whole range. Um, sometimes I feel we can over sing in warm ups and then by the time we actually get to singing a piece of music, um, our voices feel tired. Um, so just stick to these, these little key exercises um, and the more you practice them, the easier they will get. 
I need to practice that last one. Um, so I, yes, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it and I feel lovely and warm and um, I'm gonna go have a sing song. Um, so take care everyone. Hope to see you all very soon. Um, yeah, stay safe. <laughs>